Hey there everybody, this is McFly Gold, and today we're going to try something a little bit different. So, uh, I just got a new game, uh, it's an old game actually, the Untitled Goose Game. And I want to make an overlay so that when I make my recordings, like uh, this here for Spelunky 2, I've got the, uh, you know, the name of the game, a little picture and stuff like that. So what I wanted to do is have, you know, like a picture of the goose or something like that over here. Um, but instead of just stealing goose images and slapping it on here, like I would normally do for stuff, I want to model one. So this for anyone that's unfamiliar is Blender. It is a free 3D program, and uh, if you are interested in 3D modeling in any way, shape, or form, I suggest check it out. It's completely free, and there's a billion tutorials on how to do a billion different things with it, so give it a shot. You don't, you, you never know until you try. So <laughs> I'm going to model or attempt to anyway, uh, I don't know. We'll see how it comes out. We're going to attempt to model a duck. <laughs> I said that for my daughter. All right. So I looked up a, uh, a reference. I have one picture that I'm going to go off of here. And it's uh, this one right here. I found it on uh, some website about ducks, I guess. I don't remember. But um, that's going to be my reference. And enough yapping and let's see what I could do here. This isn't really a tutorial. This is just an experiment. I just wanted to uh, model something and record it and have something different to put up because after this, I do want to play the game. And like I said, use this on my overlay. All right. So uh, this is the default scene when you first start up Blender. Like for the most part, I made a tiny little modification, but that's, that's not important, but you get a light, a camera and the default cube. If you do watch any tutorials about Blender, they will always tell you to delete the default cube. Those people are monsters. Yes, I am team default cube. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the only thing that I really did was I added uh, there is a texture on this and very uh, simple. If I go up here to UV editing, I have this uh, four color palette here that I made on coolers.com or org or something. Not exactly sure. I guess I'll post a link to it later, but I just slapped it together real quick so that I had some coolers for for the duck and if you uh select all the vertices here you'll see that they are all set on white right now if i were to hit g and scoot them over and change this then you would see now that the cube is yellow or part of the cube is yellow aha uh -huh. okay so because i didn't grab all the vertices i only grabbed some when i moved them over this half is white. That half is yellow. So you kind of get the idea there. Like the vertices that I grabbed, you know, ended up changing their color. I'm going to grab these and put them back over to white. That's just so that I could color it later. Anyway, let's get on with it. Uh... For now, I will hide the camera so that it doesn't get in my way. I can hide the light too and bring out my selection guy there. Okay. So I'm going to grab this, I hit tab to go into edit mode, which you will see a lot of people do because that's how you edit anything. You can now select one of these vertices, hit G and move it around. And you have now created a new shape. Control Z is the standard undo, and I am going to drop my glasses on the floor. 
I'm going to split this guy down the middle. That was with a control R. I know I said this isn't a tutorial, but I don't know. At, at the same time, it's helpful to hear the keyboard's shortcuts. Words are hard, sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am going to delete half of it so that we're only modeling half and then you know, I'll mirror the other side, which I will do right now by adding a mirror modifier. There it is. So now again, if I hit G to move, what I do to one side happens to the other. Yay. All right. Here comes the hard part. <laughs> we are going to try and make this somewhat duck like so if i go into the side view that was with uh the three on the number pad looking at his body i guess i'll extend it out this way so i hit three to go into face mode make sure i turn clipping on there and i am going to hit e to extrude and pull it outwards Yes, I'll grab these two bottom faces here, hit E to extrude and pull them outwards. So yes, I could have just like split that cube up, but this is all happening kind of on the fly. I don't have a plan for this. I'm just going by the seat of my pants. Select these bottom ones, hit G and pull them out. Select these, hit G and pull them out. Select this, hit G and pull it in. Select that, hit G and pull that in. I'm just trying to get, you would say, you know, a rough shape. This is going to be more of a low poly model. I'm not trying to make this some super detailed um, thing here. It's just, for my overlay. Um, so I'm going to hit G and X that restricts the movement so that it only goes in the X direction. And so there you see now I have kind of like I'm getting like the basic shape of its body here. And I might want to make it just a little bit wider. So if I hit number one on the number pad, G and X to pull it out just a little bit more. All right. So now if I'm looking at it, I might want to, yeah, I'll hit three. I'm going to hit E to extrude these out and then hit S to scale and Z so that I only scale on the Z axis. This is going to be leading to his bum. Hit one, just grab these guys there. And then G and X to pull it in a little. G and X to pull that guy in a little bit too. There you go. So that's leading towards his tail. And I guess I'll make his tail extend out a little bit more. So I hit three again to go into face mode. You can change uh, up here. So that's vertices. And that's segments. Segments is just the line segments. So that's a whole line like that. And then this one here is the faces, which is like a whole face there. But you can also change those on your uh, keyboard with one, two, and three. All right, so I'm going to grab this guy, hit E and pull it out. And go into side view here. Hit one and just pull this down now select both of these pull them down 
If you hit R, that brings up your rotate tool. And then I can grab this one here in G and just kind of smooth that out a little bit. So you see like where I'm going with that. And then grab these two and hit G and X and pull them in a little bit. There you go. That's leading to his tail there. I'll grab that G and X and pull that in a little bit as well. All right. This is going to be terrible, but I'm having fun. So there you go. Now we want some feet. Or should we, should we do the head? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't know. Something keeps telling me go for the head. So let's go for the head. Hit three, go into face mode. All right. You can, uh, so I'm using short butts on, uh, the short butts. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving that in. I'm using short butts on the, uh, number pad on my keyboard. So one goes into front view, seven goes into top view, three goes into side view. And then I think five changes. Yeah. Five is like orthographic and perspective. But I want top view, which you can also like access by using this guy up here. So if you just hit like the Z, you go into top view, the X go into side view, etc. But I just want to go into top view, go back into vertices, grab this, and just move it in a little like that. And there I didn't restrict its uh access because I wanted I didn't want it to just be like straight I kind of wanted a little bit of a curve to it there okay that's beautiful isn't it okay <laughs> all right go back in the faces grab this now I'm gonna hit I to inset and pull it in a little bit but but uh, I don't know the keyboard shortcut for this but if I click this thing right here and what do I what is it boundary turn off boundary there we go all right so that makes it so that like here if I hit boundary it turns itself into its own polygon like right in the middle and it's like ignoring that center line so if I hit boundary it makes it meet at the center line which is what I want because this is going to be his neck going upwards so yeah now I can grab that, hit G and Z, so I could pull it upwards a little bit. There, you see that? And now I want to round this off a little bit more. That looks a little weird. So I'm going to grab those two guys and hit uh, G and X and pull those in a little bit more. Yeah, sorry. I'm like, I have to look over my mic to hit my keyboard because I don't have my keyboard memorized because I am not a good typer dude person thing. All right. <laughs> I'm going to hit E to extrude, pull it up. Uh, right about there, maybe. I think. Because I have that clipping on, if I hit S and X, I can pull it in. Yep, there we go. And now I want to, all right, so I'm gonna go into my segment mode, grab that one, and by holding Shift, I can select more than one. Grab that, hit G and then Y, so that I can pull it back on the Y axis, so I can round that out a little bit. And I'll do the same thing on the front, which I could have just grabbed both of them and scaled them outwards, G and Y, and pull them out. There we go. All right. A couple more uh, extrusions here. I'll hit three, grab that guy, E, and extrude. And then scale it a little bit. No, that looks weird, but I'll fix it. Don't worry. E and okay, this is gonna be his head. 
maybe. Yeah, that looks like it's long enough. I'm again, I'm basing it off of this here. So here, I'll do that. And you can see like kind of like where I'm going with it. It's, I know it's not like if I did this the right way, I should have references in Blender and, you know, set up a profile and front view and do all this like precise modeling. But I'm just playing around, just having a little fun. So it's OK. Uh, let's grab this and E and extrude up and E and extrude up. OK. The reason I'm doing that is because now I'm going to go into this front view here. I'm going to round this off a little bit. So that I can make his head. Like all of this is going to be his head. See, and I go back to there, grab this and this. What should I do? Yeah, let's do that. All right. So actually, I'm going to grab all of these and pull them down a little bit. Grab all of these. GZ and pull them up a little bit. Then grab one, two, three. E and extrude it forward. Yeah, this is going to look so bad. Um, scale it in and I'm going to alt Z so that I get rid of the see through mode there. All right. And I'm going to, I guess that's good enough for that. I'll grab these two here. E and extrude forward. And yeah, S and X to scale that in. Now I'm just going to shape this a little bit. Let's grab these guys and pull them out. Grab go back to vertices mode. Pull this out, grab this one and this one, G and X, and put them in a little bit. Grab this because that looks weird. You have three dimensions when you're modeling, so you have to make sure to check all your views. Now, you'll notice that I don't have it in that whole, like, see-through mode like this like here you could see the the lines through it but it's okay because since i literally only have like two vertices here that i'm dealing with i'm not gonna like screw up selecting something in the back because i have mirror mode on there we go that looks like a duck's head right It's not a duck, it's a goose. G, X, pull that in a little bit. I kind of want to pull those in a little bit too, so let's grab those. G, X. There we go. It looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> it's a brontosaurus. I want to grab all of these and scale them. And I feel like, let me see, his head's too high. Let's pull that down a little. Oh, see, all right, so that's what I'm talking about. Like, because that vertice was hidden, it didn't get selected when I moved everything. So that's when you want to make sure that you use that see-through mode. See, like, it's right there and it's not selected. Bingo. Okay. So there. When you have it in the see-through mode, it, it grabs through the model and picks things on the other side. Three. My brontosaurus duck. It 
G and pull it down, grab these G and there. It looks, I see, like it should have a curve. It looks like it's chest is puffed out and it's neck, like it's neck should be back like this. Grab this and maybe a little bit like that. R and rotate. All right, let's see. How long is this video going on for? Uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> I am sorry that this is taking so long. So it happens when you don't practice and you just start recording. Uh, wow, his, his mouth is really weird. His mouth. Is Bill? Is Duck Bill? Yeah, his, his mouth is really weird. It's like the top of the beak is like equal to his eyes almost. Like if his eye was here, like I'd have to, it seems like I have to pull that up even higher. And then it like has this dip. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Like you see how it goes like right up almost at the top of his head. And then it has this dip. Maybe that's just like a perspective thing. I don't know. We'll see. This is a <laughs> this is nowhere near accurate here. Like it's a brontosaurus. I should just make a brontosaurus. Or it's the Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, that's it. The Loch Ness Monster. All right. E, we're going to pull that out. Now I'm totally making a duck. S and X to scale. The reason I'm doing this is so that I can open and close its mouth if I want to, because I'm going to be a nut bar. And... Gosh, that is really like, I got to pull that down. That all has to come down. All right, let's go into side view. Let's hit one, grab all of these G and pull them down. And it looks like I got to grab that and pull it up. Grab this guy and pull it up like that. Grab that and pull it. In. Grab this and pull it down too. It's so weird. Their their mouths are weird. It's a mouth. Don't try to correct me. <laughs> All right. Let's uh grab that and extrude one more time. And. Scale it in, scale it flatter. This is terrible. Some goose lover out there is twitching right now. All right, grab those, pull them down and There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Now let's do the bottom one real quick. Grab the faces. And we're just going to do, I don't know, do we need two extrusions for the bottom one? I don't need to. Well, I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll find out here. E. And S and X to pull that in. Pull it in a little bit less. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. We're going to top view here. Hit R and rotate it. There we go. And then E and extrude one more time. S and X to scale it. There we go. And the bottom one, let's go back in the side view here as 
a lot smaller. So we'll go into vertex mode, just grab this bottom row here. Grab that, yeah. G and Z to pull it up. Ta-da! Whack, whack, whack. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's pull that back a little bit. These bother me that they're angled. That's just like, that's the bad part of my mind that like, likes things straight and I gotta let it go. All right. All right. That totally looks like a duck, doesn't it? How to duck. <laughs> Let's pull that in just a little bit. Okay. All right. Feet. Feet. Let's hit three. Grab this guy. Grab this guy. I hit one. Or no, I hit the uh, decimal point on the number pad. That zooms you into a selection. So like if I grab that face all the way up there and hit it zooms you all the way in that, that way you could get a better view of what you're doing so if i grab boop that guy whoosh, there we go okay so if i grab this and zoom this back out their feet look like they're like on the outer edges so his like feet should come down from here not not from the middle so I'm going to hit I to inset. Aha, uh -huh. and now I want boundary on. And this way I have that face in the, I don't want the face connected in the center of this mirror line here. I want it in the center of this polygon that I selected. So now we're going to hit G and X and scooch it over. S and scale it in. G and X to scooch it over even more. And G and Z to pull it down just a little bit. There we go. We're going to hit E to extrude. Look, he's got feet. I don't know. The anatomy of a goose. But the in the picture here, if we look at this, it looks like this is his knee and this is his ankle. So it's like maybe his leg comes up here and then it meets at a knee and then an ankle there. Boy, oh boy, this is so bad. <laughs> so we're just going to pretend that's his knee. Well, if that makes that his ankle... And it's foot time. So I'm going to hit E to extrude just a little bit there. Grab this guy. And I don't, let me see something. I don't have a reference of what the duck in the game looks like. I'm going to hit E and pull this out like that all right i'm gonna let's turn off that see-through mode there and control r to split this and then back to my see-through mode if i could grab all of these guys and Scale it out. There we go. And now I'm going to cheat. Because I want a couple more cuts in here, but I don't like if I cut through here. It's going to cut through the whole duck's body like that. And I don't. 
I don't know if I really want all that extra geometry. I don't need it. This isn't going to be, like, used anywhere except for a silly little picture. So, let's undo that. And I'm just gonna... Alright, I want to focus on the foot here, so I'm going to select those and hit that decimal point. So I just rotate about this point here. I just basically want, I want to round this off just a little bit. So if I had like two cuts, I'm going to hit K with my knife tool. Start from there and just pull forward to like there and pull down. This isn't the best way to do this. Let's hit enter. I'll do the same thing on this side. Do not do this at home, kids. It's just terrible, terrible modeling practices. But I'm just doing it to get the shape that I want. And it's my own personal model, so it's it's okay. <laughs> I'm not sending this to, you know, a game studio or anything like that. Let's turn off that see-through mode. Hit K. I'm going to cut from that point all the way back to there. Enter and do the same thing again. Hit K. That point to there enter there we go now that just gives me if i hit face mode i can grab that g and y and pull it out a little bit and there we go see there now he has like a little bit more of a rounded foot that makes me happy and there's our Terrible, terrible duck. Goose. It's a goose. <laughs> uh, grab this guy because it looks a little squarish. G and Z and pull that down. That looks better. Look how much better that looks. And we'll go into vertex mode. Vertex mode. G and Y and pull that forward just a little bit there we go just rounding them off a little bit grab these guys g and y to pull them in just a little bit there you go just gives them a little bit more shape this is really really terrible <laughs> but it's just for funsies all right There's our goose. Now, if I tab out of edit mode and I hit this guy right there, that gets rid of the thing. That has the profile of a aquatic flying creature. Mammal? Is that a mammal? Yeah, it's a mammal. <laughs> All right. Let's color this sucker really quick. Uh, UV editing. If we grab, let's go to side view here. Grab these. All right, I'm gonna turn on face mode. Now if I hit control and plus, that increases the selection control and minus decreases the selection. There are a ton of shortcut keys in this program. Really, I should. All right, before I color it, before I color it, which I could do this here, just go back into object mode. I'm gonna grab it, go to our modifiers, Take this mirror modifier and apply it, which means there's no more mirror modifier on here. 
it is now one solid object instead of a half of an object. And if I select it and go into edit mode and grab a face and move it, it only moves on one side and not the other. It's no longer a mirrored object, but I want that so that I can color it. I'm going to grab these faces like I just had selected before. Control and plus to grab the next row. And on this side, I have my four color palette. With these faces selected, come over to this side. I'm going to hit G and move to a different color. When I do that, it colors those polygons. Pretty neat, huh? Okay. Now, if I do the same thing with his feet, grab all of these. Well, actually, let's go into front view. Scooch this over and grab all of those. Come over here, hit G. And I had to select them. And now his feet match his mouth. Ta-da! Now this one's, this part's a little tricky here because I made his, uh, let's see that. I made his uh, mouth so close together there. I didn't make it open. There's a reason for that, but I don't think I'm going to go into that. This video is way long. All right, I'm going to basically I'm going to start grabbing these faces here. Two, three. I'm going to hit H to hide them. Now you'll see that I just have, this is like the bottom, the bottom of the top of his mouth here. I could grab these one, two, three, four, come over here, A, hit G and move it over. And now it's red. Ish. Now I could grab these one, two, three, four and hit H to hide those. And this is the other part of the bottom of his mouth. I think I'm missing. No, let's see. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to come over here and grab these suckers and pull them over. And I'm going to hit Alt H to unhide. There you go. So now his, uh, the inside of his mouth is red. The reason I'm doing that is because I did want to like throw a really easy, quick skeleton in it to pose it. But like I said, this video is bordering on 40 minutes and that's, that's long enough to these shenanigans. Uh, I'm going to try something real quick. I grab this and this, I'm going to do that. Control plus control plus G and Z. And I'm going to pull this down. <laughs> I only did that to make sure that I got the whole inside of his mouth. That looks so crazy. Honk. That is an angry goose. All right. Control Z. All right. Um, <laughs> we're done. We're done. I had black to do an eye, which, you know what? Screw it. Let's do an eye real quick. Let's grab this face right here. And since I'm not in mirror mode, we got to grab the other side. And hit I and right, let's just scale it in just a little bit. Ooh, that makes him look angry. And S and Y, so I only scale on that axis there. That's okay. So we're going to go into side view. And make sure we're see-through. 
gonna grab that. GG. GG will only move it along the angle of the face instead of just moving it in any direction. You'll see that it's it's only going to slide along this uh, line segment right here. See, like if I hit G once, I can move it anywhere. But if I hit G again, it, it, it restricts its movement. See? So actually, I'm just going to put it right there. There we go. See, that's what I was trying to avoid, and I kind of didn't. You notice how it like indents right here? Like here, let's do that. See how it's like broken? It's because it's indented. That's what I was trying to avoid and I failed miserably. Uh, so let's grab these and go into this view here. And then scale S and X and pull out just a little bit so that it's more flush scale like. There you go. It's a little bit better. It's not perfect, but it's okay. Looks like this one's sticking outwards a little bit. Scale and X and pull that in just a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right. The whole purpose of that was to hit three, grab that, grab that, come over here and scooch them all the way over to that. And ta-da! Go into my layout mode here, and there we go. We have a goose. Uh, it's terrible. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I had fun. Let's let's uh. His neck looks a little funky here, so let's fix that real quick. Tab into edit mode. Hit one. Turned off my overlays. Looked weird. Grab that guy and that guy. Scale in on the X axis. There we go. That's a little bit better. I could sit here tweaking this forever and I'm not going to because I have used up quite enough of your time. She pull that out just a little bit. There we go. Pull that out just a little bit there. All right. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> uh, if any, if, 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 okay. One, one last thing, because it's just annoying my tiny little mind. I'm going to pull this up to above that ground plane there, that the, the X-axis. There, at least he looks like he's standing on a floor. I can even give him a quick floor. I can hit uh, Shift A, go to Mesh, Plane, Scale, I don't know, 20. There we go. Now he's standing on the floor. Ta da! There's my duck, my goose. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, that's it. If I, uh, let's see, where's the, uh, camera? The camera's pointing at his feet. We can change the view of the camera. Let's pull it back. That. Perfect. And we can grab that plane and just do that so it's in my shot a little bit better for the render and it's probably got like there you go oh it's moody <laughs> there you go um i am done i promise uh thank you for watching i appreciate you taking the time to watch this crazy modeling video of a duck for an overlay <sighs> um i hopefully will record gameplay of 
the uh, Untitled Goose Game very soon. And I hope to see you there. Please stay safe out there. And I will catch you in the next episode. Bye.